Hi. Welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got during our half trading day of July 6, 2020. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Corporate bond ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Energy sector ETF belongs to the bear normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Philips 66 company. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 11.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $69.31. For call option, a possible call price is at $2.44. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Kinder Morgan. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 4.0%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $15.3. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.52. Halliburton Company was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Halliburton Company is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 3.6%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.5%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $13.3, but we expect a possible sell price of $13.37. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $12.97. On the call option table, Halliburton Company has a striking price at $12. For this option, the actual call price is at $1.09, but we expect a possible call price at $0.91. Financial sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock stable of financial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell.
healthcare sector ETF belongs to the bull normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Amgen Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.1%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $249.28. For put option, a possible put price is at $6.17. Amgen Incorporated is a strong sell suggestion. It is on a bull high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 2.3%. You may expect now a sell return of 3.1%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $249.28. But we expect a possible sell price of $267.58. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Amgen Incorporated if it is over 0.80% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, Amgen Incorporated has a striking price at $270. For this option, the actual put price is at $8.98. But we expect a possible put price at $6.17. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell General Electric. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 10.2%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $6.93. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.92. General Dynamics was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that General Dynamics is a bear high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 5.5%. You may expect now a buyer return of 0.8%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $149.22. But we expect a possible sell price of $151.43. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $146.93. On the call option table, General Dynamics has a striking price at $145. For this option, the actual call price is at $4.65, but we expect a possible call price at $4.12. Material sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of discretionary sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Netflix Incorporated was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Netflix Incorporated is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.1%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.8%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $477.97, but we expect a possible buy price of $461. On the other hand, 
we suggest to stop selling if the price is $486.67. On the put option table, Netflix Incorporated has a striking price at $505. For this option, the actual put price is at $27.03. But we expect a possible put price at $22.49. Consumer Staples ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of Staples sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Kraft Heinz Company. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.5%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $31.99. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.81. Costco Wholesale is a strong sell suggestion. It is on a bull low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 1.5%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.1%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $307.17, but we expect a possible sell price of $315.8. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Costco Wholesale if it is over 3.20% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, Costco Wholesale has a striking price at $320. For this option, the actual put price is at $9.73, but we expect a possible put price at Technology sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of technology sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy Facebook Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.2%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $239.51. For call option, a possible call price is at $8.14. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Oracle Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.0%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $55.92. For put option, a possible put price is at $1.7. Automatic data processing was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that automatic data processing is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.0%. You may expect now a sell return of 2.9%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $147.43. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $154.38. On the put option table, automatic data processing has a striking price at $160. For this option, the actual put price is at $9.5, but we expect a possible put price at $5.22. Facebook Incorporated was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Facebook Incorporated is a trade high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.6%. You may expect now a buy return of 5.2%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $246.1. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $229.89. On the call option table, Facebook Incorporated has a striking price at $225. For this option, the actual call price is at $15.75, but we expect a possible call price at $8.14. Communication sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell.
Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Utility sector ETF belongs to the trade normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Dominion Energy. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 2.0%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $80.45. For call option, a possible call price is at $2.06. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell Duke Energy. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.2%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $81.02. For put option, a possible put price is at $1.75. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good update of our half trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.